We're really getting into the weird ones now. So Your Manga Sensei was the seventh anime I ever watched, and it was the first, like, really down, bad, etchy type anime that I watched. Now, I didn't know it was that whenever I watched it. I just thought, oh, cool. Uh, it's a brother and a sister who are, they make uh, anime together. I, I was wrong on that. It, it's, it's much more than that. But I, I have to say, it's not as bad as what people have since I found out made it out to be. Some people act like this is the worst anime of all time, that it destroys the image of anime. I don't know what you expect anime to be. I mean, I have like 10 bunny girl figures in my collection. Like, what did you, what did you, ex what did you think anime was? <laughs> so the series follows our main step-sibling duo. After the death of their parents, Sagari becomes pretty much a shut-in and is taken care of by her new brother, which is technically her stepbrother. To make money, he becomes a light novel author and gets assistance from a illustrator, which he has no clue who they are, until he finds out that it's his sister. Who could have saw that coming? The series after this becomes more of a bonding thing between the two siblings, and in good and bad, and by that I mean in normal sibling ways and in etchy sibling ways, uh, but they really do bond pretty well, and I enjoy that a lot. I think it does give more to this duo, and I think they work somewhat. Uh, obviously, I have, I, I don't think they're great characters, but it isn't bad, and I, I don't think their relationship ever goes too far in what we get in the anime, so it, it, it stays at that goofy level of just un etchy enough, but not quite weird yet. If you have that line in your anime, it, it's it's wavel, it's it's right at that line, but it ain't quite there yet. And if you're an Ocean Co fan, they're like down here. So they're not even close to what this is. So and for example, some of the very bonding activities that they do with each other is like inviting one of her classmates over who is very helpful and wants to give her her homework that she needs to get done and uh, they lure her into uh, the sister's bedroom so that the sister can take pictures of this girl's underwear as reference material. Yeah. So let's talk about the pros first. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, the ED is amazing. It is one of my favorite EDs that I have watched. Obviously, it's very basic. It's just her dancing in the laundry room while the laundry is going on. But it's just so, like, joyful, and this just cute little thing. And the animation is really good. Like, she just, she is contagious with her little dance. And that's the best part. That's it. Well, the animation is good. And the little, the little elf girl, uh, sh she's got a nice design. I like that. I think it's interesting. Uh, yeah, we, we do, she is, like, not wearing clothes half the time, but... It's a good design. Besides this, I, it just falls into that category of an anime that I just never really connected with any of these characters. They're either so stuck in their ways and they have this character trope that they just want to keep this character in. You don't try to change them very much other than their one trope. Either they're the brother, they're the sister, they're this bratty little character or whatever. That's it. They don't do anything with these characters that's interesting to me. Yeah, it's not bad, but it doesn't do anything besides that. Yeah, it's funny. It's a comedy. It's, you're going to get jokes out of this series. So when, once you laugh at those jokes a few times, then you're like, okay, well, what now? And there's nothing there. So, like, it's, it's not a slice of life to where I'm like, I enjoy these characters. I'm going to keep watching for these characters. I enjoyed these characters for one or two episodes. Then I got bored with them and thought, okay, well, what's, what, what are you going to do with these to mix it up? We get very little in this one season. Obviously, I've not read the manga. We'll get into that. But if I did, I might know that, oh, if we got a season two, they'd really expand into something. We don't get that here. So I don't know. Like, with the one season we got, it's not that good. <laughs> and one of the most common issues that people have with this series is, but they're, they're children. They're... they're middle schoolers and you're you're doing etchy anime with them who cares like there is a 
tons of anime before Euro Manga Sensei that did this. There are tons after Euro Manga Sensei that did this. It's, it's not special. And if you have this issue with anime, that might work in the Western culture of, hey, we can complain about something enough that they will change it. People have been complaining about this in anime for years. I knew about this before I was even an anime fan. Guess what? It hasn't changed, and it probably never will. So stop wasting your time on something like this. It doesn't matter. There's other complaints about this series that make much more sense. The story is not that interesting. The characters are not that interesting. But you're getting hung up on, oh, etchy bad. Who cares? That's not, that's like 10th in the list of issues that there is in this series. And that that's it. With the anime, it's just it's just not my cup of tea. I if you really like the brother sister dynamic, maybe you really like this. And I, I usually do. I think it's a interesting concept. I think it's a fun thing. If you if it's done right, this just doesn't do it right. It does it in this basic format that prioritizes this etchy kind of character trope dynamic instead of storytelling or any got a good jokes. The panty joke only works so many times before I'm like, okay, well, what's the next joke? And we'll get into anime that do this far better later on. But as for Euro Manga Sensei, it just doesn't do it. So where would I rate it though? I'm gonna actually put this above Blend S. So it'll actually be in the number six spot right now. It's not as bad as Blend S. There's no characters in this that I hate. I just don't have any kind of desire to get any more of them. And that brings me to my next point. I can't tell you anything about the manga. And the reason why is, is because Dark Horse was the one that was supposed to, they licensed it, they were supposed to publish the manga. They published three volumes of it and they never did any more. It stopped. So, for English release of Euro Manga Sensei, we got three volumes. They're pretty easy to find, but I have no desire to get them because why do I want three volumes of a series that's never going to be completed? So I, I, I'm not even interested in the manga because the only way... I'm not going to go get the Japanese version and then try to translate that myself. I'm not going to do that. I don't have any desire to read it online because I don't even know who's got it licensed now to do it officially, and I'm not going to go through all the hassle of trying to get it off a second-hand site, so I don't care. I'm not even bothered by it, but that's just me. And speaking of a dumb way to release stuff, the Blu-ray is the first piece of merch that I'm going to talk about. Uh, they released this by Aniplex, and it released in the Japanese version of releasing it in different volumes instead of doing it in one big complete season, they released it in separate volumes. And guess what? It's insanely hard to find this series now. I have volume two. I can't find volume one. I don't know if there's a volume three. This was the only one that was available whenever I was into this series, like whenever I first watched it and wanted to buy this. This was the only volume that was available. So if you want to buy it on Blu-ray, buy the Japanese version. It'd be easier to get. They are more readily available than the American release, unfortunately. And with this series, I have two Nendroids, the first of which is Sagari in her little hoodie outfit here. It looks really cute. I like that a lot. I think it, it's, it's a good design. That's one thing I'll give this series is that it has good designs. So I did like the merch for it. And since it's one of my first 10, as I've mentioned before, I try to get some merch of series in my first 10 anime I watched. So I have the Nendroid for her. I also have the Nendroid for her, the little elf one that I was talking about earlier. Uh, she's really cute and I like her a lot. I believe there is one more Nendroid from this set, but I really was only wanting these two because these were the two characters that I actually somewhat cared about. Mostly her. Uh, I just wanted her because it'd be weird just to have her and without her because she's the main girl, but I enjoy having both of these in my collection. But that's not the only thing I have. I also have two figures as well. I have this one which is in like a, I don't know, loungewear type 
look here. It's a Taito figure, so it's a prize figure, but they're really, it's really well done. It has some detail in the hair here that kind of makes it clear towards the end. So it is a good looking figure here. And then I also got this one, which is also a Taito figure, but it is kind of, it's only held up by her one foot here and it, it broke. As you can see there, it, uh, it broke the little peg off into her base. Uh, I've never had a figure break other than this one. So yeah, that sucked, but it still stands up. So for now it's fine. If, if it's not, then I'll just have to glue it back. So it's fine. It's a nice little figure. I just wish that it would have been maybe designed a little better so that it actually stood up better. So the last few anime that I reviewed, including this one, I've had mixed to bad thoughts on. Uh, so I decided, well, I didn't decide. It just happened this way that it's time for an anime that I did kind of enjoy. And it's back to the more positive reviews. And that next one is Gabrielle Dropout. I loved this series. This series was really fun. It's still one that I watch clips from all the time. The kind of reverse on roles on that one is very fun so look forward to that one here in probably about a week or so uh, i've got a few videos that'll go up before that but anyway i look forward to that we're getting ever so closer to that 10th anime and that 10th anime is one that i'm going to have a lot to talk about so that'll be a longer review so look forward to that anyway if you liked this video and you want to see more uh like it and subscribe comment what you thought of your own manga sensei did you like it did you not like it maybe you share my opinions on a few things uh, but anyway i will see you guys next time bye